In this lecture, we're going to examine the characteristics of pre-operational thought. And in this, we shall examine four major characteristics and hopefully will be able to share several videos with you that might serve to make this a little bit more understandable. Now, as we work through this, understand that we have moved through the sensory motor stage. We have just come out of a stage from zero to two years where a child is learning based upon touch and feel and taste and direct interaction with the senses. And now we're moving into a representative form where the child can represent in the mind certain concepts and ideas. Now, the four things that we're going to examine or the four main characteristics will be things that limit the development of pure concrete operational thought. So bear with us as we go through these four, four characteristics. The first of these uh, major characteristics which limit the child's progress onto the concrete stage uh, is that of egocentrism. Now, we've examined egocentrism, and we know that that is basically translated to self-centeredness. Now, self-centeredness has a negative connotation, and it probably should when we're dealing with adults. But remember that this is part of a child's natural stage of development. As the child progresses beyond egocentrism, then the child begins to interact with others. Now, the pre-operational child really doesn't uh, reflect on or think about his own thoughts. Uh, he's never really motivated to question his thinking about uh, how others may feel about his thoughts. Uh, the child is really inclined to conclude that the evidence must be wrong if it doesn't agree with him because his thoughts are necessarily correct. Now, when one operates in that frame of operation, then one has great difficulty in interacting and, and uh, socializing with others. To illustrate the social impact of egocentrism, consider the uh, tirade of this young man on the, on the video which follows. Well, most of you out there that are parents just lost it over that. The, the problem with that behavior is relatively obvious. It is an egocentric behavior. The, the real difficulty is not the, the behavior itself, which is a natural part of development, but the age of the child exhibiting it. Well, another one of the major characteristics of the pre-operational stage, which hinder the development or the onset of uh, the concrete uh, stage, really relates to that of transformational reasoning. Now, when you think about transformation, what you're talking about is moving from one element to another, perhaps in a sequence. Uh, children in the pre-operational stage may view elements of a sequence, but sometimes not be able to anticipate how one element is going to transition into another. Now, after we go into the transformational reasoning stage, the next is that of centration. Centration really isn't a very difficult concept. Uh, centration really refers to the tendency to look at the total without seeing the parts, might be a way of saying that. For instance, a child may see a row that is long uh, with parts in it without noticing that there are less in that row than there may be in a shorter row with more objects in it. And the child selects the longer row with less objects just based on length. That's centration. And centration does hinder the child's ability to reason on the concrete level. The next of these uh, objects of interest is that of reversibility. Reversibility is pretty simple. It means if it goes one way, then it can come back and be reversed. Uh, a lot of folks uh, see things as a one-way street. And children have a tendency to, to uh, observe events without noting that they can also occur in reverse. Now look at the four of these main characteristics which hinder concrete thought. Edocentrism, 
transformational reasoning, centration, and reversibility. These are natural stages as a child goes through the pre-operational stage. Where we get such a negative uh, connotation of these uh, topics really relates to our dealing with adults who still exhibit them. For instance, again, a two-and-a-half-year-old child certainly is going to practice egocentrism, uh, going to have difficulty transforming from one event to another, uh, and centration may look at the whole without seeing the parts, and reversibility not be able to take something that goes from point A to point B back from point B to point A. Well, that's normal in kids, but adults ought to move well beyond that. These four major characteristics hinder hinder the development of concrete uh, operational thought. Now, again, this is brought to you from Texas A&M University Commerce by the infamous Dr. Dog. We move on.